and the grapes. On a mountain far, far away, there was a fox living alone on the top of the mountain. He feels very bored because no one was around. So one fine day, the fox decided to go down the mountain for a walk. This was also the first time he left the mountain. Walk along the cliffs and every bushes, he passed by a creek. A clear blue creek. The fox felt that everything down here was so beautiful. Then he went through a flower garden. The strange and beautiful scenery made the fox very excited. Suddenly, the fox discovered a faint scent mixed in the wind, the smell of fresh ripe fruit, and his stomach immediately asked for a nice meal. The fox immediately follows that scent. The fresh scent led him all the way to a rip vine yard. Oh, turns out there is such a fragrant kind of fruit. The fox explained. Under the green foliage, grapes seems really to produce. The sun was shining, and under the warm light of the sun, Every bunch of grapes were even more sparkling and attractive. These grapes make people crave, and the fox was craving too, and his mouth watered as he gazed longingly at them. The fox checked carefully and found out he was all alone, and he was surrounded by so many bunches of grapes. Nobody knows if I just take some and rush away real quick, eh? After that, the fox stood straight up, reaching out to pick grapes. But the vine was too high. He tried so hard, but he couldn't reach it. He tried his best to reach out, but his hand could only reach the leaves. And it seems like Touching the grapes above was too difficult for him. Hmm, how about I try to jump? He thought. Right after that, he jumped up, but he still reached nothing but leaves. Can't leave the vineyard without having any fruit yet, so he wanders around the garden, try to figure out a way to eat those fresh grapes. Suddenly, he spotted a rather short vine nearby. The fox immediately ran to it. Even though that bunch of grapes was quite low, the fox still can't reach it. He tried to jump again, but still couldn't pick any grapes. Immediately after that, he discovered a bunch of grapes that were even lower than the one from earlier. He was so proud of himself. This time I can finally eat it. As he thought about it, the drool in his throat kept pouring out because he was really hungry and tired. Can't wait any longer. He took a few steps back and get ready to jump. He managed to jump higher than before. So he jumped and jumped and jumped. But my dear fox, he still can't pick any grapes, and it hurts so bad to fall from above. Sitting under the foliage of the green vineyard, the fox cannot pick any grapes no matter what. He sighed. What a fool I am, he said. Here I am trying my best to get a bunch of sour grapes that are not worth gaping for. After that, the fox left the vineyard sadly. Moral of the story People usually make so many excuses for not trying their best to do something. We should not be like that. 
we must think and find ways. Try every way we can to overcome difficulties. Only then we can achieve our goals, achieve the results.